everyone, it's Cirque, and today I'm going to be showing you the collector's box for Jack Jean from Axis Games. I got the bronze edition, which only comes with the collector's box, but there's also a silver edition that comes with a carrying pouch that you can keep your Nintendo Switch in or just use to carry around a few small things with you on your day to day and also a gold version that comes with both the carrying pouch as well as a Jack Jean t-shirt. And at the time of filming, all of those editions are still available, but they are limited edition. So if you're interested in those, I would get onto the Axis Games website fast because I don't know how long they will be available or if they'll even be available still when this video comes out. But just as a little background before I begin opening my box, Jack Jean is a rhythm and I believe Otome game. So it's a game that's aimed at young women and as I said, also a rhythm game. The main character, Kisa, dreams of being an actress, but she hasn't had much luck yet. And then she is given the opportunity to enter a very famous acting school on the condition that she has to pretend to be a boy for the duration of the year because it is a boys only acting school and that she also has to get the lead role in the final performance of the year. And the title of the game refers to the two different designations that the boys in each acting troupe are given. Jack is the boys who play the male characters, while Jean is the boys that are a bit more feminine, maybe a little small on the smaller side who play the girl characters similar to the way that acting was done back in Shakespeare's time. So cross-dressing is a big part of the theater in case you weren't aware. So support your local cross-dressers and drag queens. But moving on to the game itself. It's like, oh, oops, I have it upside down. I believe, oh, no, I don't. Okay. All right. And of course the inner box has the same art that the outer cover has. And then on the back, it says Jack Jean and Bronze Edition with some of the logos from the game. And the first thing in the box when we open it is this beautiful art book of the game. And that gives you a little look at what the game looks like, some of the characters. I haven't played the game yet. I was waiting until after I was able to do this unboxing to play it. But I know this is Kisa. This is some of the outfits she wears. And I'm assuming this is her regular school uniform when she's pretending to be a boy. And then we have a few other characters. You can see some of the characters in their either masculine or feminine role, depending on their role within the group. And there's a lot of variety in the characters, as you can see. Lots of different, very cute boys, very handsome boys. And, oh, and here's some of the, the shows that they do within the year. There is um, The Sleepless King, Weekend Lesson, Mary Jane. Oh, and that one has some animal characters, so that's kind of cute. Oh, Rama Havana. Oh, and then moving into some of the other acting troops. So. As you can see, it is a very interesting game. The art is beautiful, and I've g seen a few videos of gameplay and some of the music in the game, so I know for a fact that it's going to be very fun to play, and it's I can't wait to play it. So if that sounds interesting to you, 
and if this art is interesting to you also, then definitely take a look at the game. Even when the special editions are out of stock, you will still be able to get the game itself. So no matter when you see this video, don't be afraid to order it for yourself if you're interested. But moving into the inner box, the first item is this nice bandana with some of the, I believe it's well, the seals of the different acting groups, but again, I haven't played it yet, so I can't be sure, but let's unfold it. It is, it's reasonably big, so it's definitely worth getting, and it's very beautiful. The fabric feels very nice, it's kind of silky, it's a higher grade bandana. It's not the sort of thing that you would just pick up at Walmart, but I'm actually going to keep that out now because I think that would look like a good backdrop for the rest of the video. And the next item in the box is a acrylic standee of the main characters of the acting group that Kisa is part of. And I'm just going to open that up and try to put it together for you quick while I'm talking. And if this, you've seen other videos from me, did, did this one part or two? I think this is two parts. They're just, yep, they're stuck together. Okay. You know that I love acrylic standees. And I believe this is the same. Nope. Okay. It's not the same art that's on the front of the box. I'm sorry. But it shows off the characters from the game. In, some of, in one of the outfits from one of the shows they're in. And this is a layered standee, so that's very fun. Let's see if it snaps together. But yes, I love standees. I have multiple standees from multiple different fandoms, different series. And some of them are, are easier to put together than others, so I'm going to see if I can quickly put this together, but I'm having a little trouble getting the background in so I'm going to see if this snaps in a little easier first oh okay I got the front and the middle let's see if I can get the back in quick just to give you a full look at the standee all right and there it is it's nice and three-dimensional that will look very beautiful on my desk so Again, one of the very interesting things that you can get from this box if you snatch it up before it sells out. And the last item in the box before we get to the game itself are these beautiful pins. And I collect pins, so this will be a beautiful addition to my collection. They have some nice sturdy looking backs, so hopefully if you choose to use these pins on your bag or on a lanyard to show them off, hopefully they won't get lost. And then we have the school, oops, the school crest, I'm assuming, and then four of the acting troops that you encounter within the game. I'm actually going to look at the art book quick, see if I can find which one is which. All right, so Quartz is the one that Kisa is in. And that looks like this one. And then Quartz, Quartz. Flippity flip. Onyx is this group, so that's this one. And these, these sections are a little shorter, so hopefully I'll be able to flip through them. Rondite is the pink one, and the final group is Amber, so that's a nice brownish tan color, and this group is very interesting. I'm very curious about this guy, but I'm interested in all of the characters that you're going to encounter. I have a friend that played that played this game in Japanese before it was translated. So she's a big reason why I was interested in playing this. But I know a little bit about the game from her, but not a whole lot. So I hope you'll excuse me that I am just 
going off of first impressions mostly and just a few small things I remember. But then we're going to the game itself. We have Kisa on the front and the logo has some nice gears in it. And on the back we get a little bit better look at the characters. We have the image that they created into the standee and then um, the description that the game itself has is Kisa is about to give up her dream of becoming an actor when she is offered a chance to attend a prestigious all-boys drama school with two conditions to be cast in the lead role in the final performance and to keep her identity as a girl a secret so yeah as you can see I I remembered all right what the the um, plot line is but then you also get a little look at the gameplay hide your identity from your friends and rivals prepare for grand original performances shape events based on your many choices so hopefully this will have a lot of replay value since it sounds like the choices actually make a difference in the story and how successful you are in your goals will depend on which options you pick so it might be fun to go through a couple times just to see what different events and endings you can cause and of course if you don't get the best ending the first time obviously you're going to want to replay it and then re rehearse with rhythm action mini games so as i said it is a rhythm game um during the performances by the group you play it looks like there's four places that you can hit just based on this though again I don't know for sure, but you have to hit certain buttons or certain portions of the screen in time to the game. Um, a an, an American equivalent to this game would probably be either Dance Dance Revolution, which is technically a Japanese game also, but is a little more familiar to American audiences, or of course, Guitar Hero is a little bit like this. So. If those games are fun to you, then this might also be a game that you'll enjoy. Ooh, and then on the inside, we have this beautiful picture of Kisa reaching up into the light. And the game itself has the logo on it. Um, it's a pretty straightforward, minimalistic um, game card. So not much to talk about, but everything about this game looks beautiful and that brings our unboxing for today to a close i hope you enjoyed it getting to see a little look at this game and that you are interested in possibly trying it out yourself everything i've heard about this game sounds amazing so i'm i'm quite sure this is going to be a game i will love once i start up for the first time I might not even be able to put it down, so I'm going to be a little choosy with when I start just to be safe. But whether you want to play Jack Jean for yourself or if this isn't really your thing and you just wanted to get a glimpse at the bronze edition without buying it for yourself, I hope you have a great day. I hope you find lots of fun games to try out in the coming days. And I hope that I get to see you again soon.